Hi, I'm Lucas Ross, and I'm your host with the, m not exactly the most, but I try the best I can, but I am the host of the new mini game that you can play called OKC Zoo IQ. This is a challenge to test your knowledge of wildlife from all around the world for points and proof that you're smarter than the person sitting next to you. And if you're playing this game alone, congratulations, you can say you're smarter than you. Anyway, playing it is really simple. You have 10 multiple choice questions on specific topics, and you get one point for each correct answer. The topic of this week's OKC Zoo IQ is... Okapi. Let's begin with 10 questions to reveal your OKC Zoo IQ. Question one. Which of the following is another name for Okapi? These all sound like energy drinks. I got myself a striped deer! Yeah! Forest giraffe! All right, 10 seconds. The correct answer is C, forest giraffe. Yeah, it might look like a cross between a deer and a zebra, but it's actually a distant relative of the giraffe. They're very distant. In fact, they only talk on holidays. Question number two. What are the names of the horns on top of the Okapi's head? 10 seconds. Hmm, an Okapi cap. I think that could work. All right. Those horns on top of the Okapi's heads are called ossicones. If you chose A, you are correct. Those horns are covered in skin except for the very tip of them. The males have full ossicones and the females have knobby bumps. That was also my nickname in junior high. Question number three. Okapi are native to what country? 10 seconds. Ok. I think Okapi is like my favorite animal. And that's just because I heard somebody else say it was there, so I guess I'm an Okapi cat. <laughs> if you guessed B, you are correct. It's the Democratic Republic of Congo. It's native to the Uturi rainforest, and it's the only place the species can be found in the entire world. <laughs> so I guess you can't Okapi them. Question number four. Okapi have scent glands on their blank that spread sticky tar-like territory markings to alert others of their region. 10 seconds. Tar-like territory markings. <laughs> don't they just know they could use a can of spray paint? I guess it's hard because they don't have the, like, the fingers. Okay, time's up. If you guessed C, feet, you are correct. Okapi are active in the day, but they like to be alone. Their hoofs secrete sticky substances to mark their territory. Question number five. How quickly is an Okapi calf typically able to walk after birth? 10 seconds. Not 10 seconds, I mean, that would be really fast. No, 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 you have 10 seconds. You? And I've talked through half of it, so good luck. <laughs> How quickly can an Okapi calf typically be able to, 30 minutes, that's pretty fast. Slow down, Okapi calf, where are you going off to so fast? That's pretty impressive. Okapi only have one calf per pregnancy, and they walk after just 30 minutes and they can tap dance after 45. Just kidding. It's a full hour. Question number six. What purpose do Okapi's stripes serve? Why do they need all them stripes? Huh. I guess the camouflage could work if you want to like hide half of you over here. If you're standing next to some zebras over here and then maybe a cow over on this side and a deer over there. And if you guessed D, camouflage, you're correct. <laughs> wow, I was smarter than I thought. Okapi live in the dense rainforest. Brown and white stripes on their rump mimic streaks of sunlight glistening through the trees. Ah, look, honey. Is it a beautiful sunset? Nope, that's no copy rear end. Romance. Next question. Question number seven. Okapi weren't discovered until the turn of which century? 10 seconds. Wow. I guess it couldn't be the future. That'd be cool. Maybe Okapi are time travelers. That's what all animals look like in the future. They're all like different. Oh, it was the 1900s. Cool. It was once believed to be a mythical unicorn and it wasn't discovered by Western scientists until the 1900s. They officially named the species in 1901. Huh. Question number eight. Shall we talk about Okapi gestation? <laughs> Let's do it. The gestation period of an Okapi typically lasts how long? time to gestate if you know what I mean and I don't know what I mean <laughs> is it 10 seconds yet wow if you guessed 14 to 16 months you are correct gestation is another word for pregnancy to stay in contact with her calves in the dense rainforest 
female okapi produce an infrasonic call at around 14 hertz, which is way too low to be heard by humans, with the exception of Barry White. Oh yeah. Question number nine. How many stomachs does an okapi have? 10 seconds. Wow. Can you like add on stomachs? Could I get an extra one? I mean, I could eat for two. <laughs> okay, time's up. If you guessed D, four stomachs, you are correct. Okapi have four stomachs, just like cows and giraffes. They have four stomachs. Man, you can eat for three extra <laughs> okapi. Just pack it on in there. These four stomachs help digest plant-based diets made of fruits, buds, leaves, and twigs. Mmm, I shouldn't have skipped lunch today. I could go for a good twig. Okay, this is it, the last question. How long is an okapi tongue? 10 seconds. Okapi tongue? Oh, copy, my copy, oh, copy tongue. Like Capitan? Time's up, the correct answer is D, 14 to 18 inches. Huh. Just like a giraffe, Okapi have long tongues that help them pull leaves off tree limbs. Well, roll up your tongue and shove it back in your mouth because the game is over. Add up your points, let's find out your OKCZU IQ. If you have between one and three points, I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. If you got between four and six points, good job! If you got between seven and nine, which is eight, but seven, eight, or nine, very nice. And if you got 10, <laughs> you, my friend, are a genius. Shout it from the rooftops. Call your friends and say, hey, I know Okapi, okay? Eh, don't brag, nobody likes a bragger, but congratulations and thanks for playing OKC Zoo IQ. We'll see you next time with more great tests for your big old brains. See you later.